talk to you tomorrow. Now, it's hard to resist a freshly baked sausage roll, and today oh John's Road is showing you just how easy they are to make at home. And a few different ingredients here. Well, we're going to do a, a classic sausage roll first. OK. And then I'm going to do another one, which is sort of a little bit more fancy, a chorizo and halloumi one, because my son came around with these sausage rolls full of cheese, but the cheese sort of fell out of them. Oh. So I wanted to work out a way of doing it. So I've used halloumi instead, oh. which gets that lovely flavour of cheese, but, but it also holds, it it together. holds together. But the classic sausage roll is one of those things that I think a lot of people want to try. Sorry, what are you back. doing? That's my, that's my plate. Okay. I've just used packet, packet, a packet of sausage meat, or you can get yeah. normal sausages, that's fine. You need a little bit of garlic, some salt, some pepper, and some water. Now, water's the important part, which is quite, sounds really, really odd. Oh. But you put water in with the sausage meat, you wash that garlic off there, and it goes in with the sausage meat. And then a good amount of, of, um, mm. uh, of salt <laughs> and a little bit of pepper. Now, then you, what you do is you beat it up. And what happens is the water gets absorbed by the sausage meat, mm. so that when it bakes, what happens is the whole thing puffs up, the inside stays lovely and moist, and the whole thing is very, very light. Otherwise, it's really dense and hard. Oh. So this is the whole idea of the water. So I'd have thought the steam coming out of the water would have made the pastry not puff up. It, it, it does. It the makes opposite. it puff up. Yeah, the because exact there's the steam from the outside, wow. the inside as well, because there's enough heat in there. And these are going to be cooked at 200, 200 degrees. John, these are a different level. I know. Are they right? Yeah, oh, they're unbelievable. They're yeah. amazing. We've yeah. gone for the yeah. chorizo one, haven't we? So, so the chorizo really one, good. I'm going to do a little bit of variation. I've taken some Cumberland sausages. Mm -hmm. I've taken some chorizo, the sort of soft one, mm -hmm. and mix that in with a fork. You don't, don't mix it in too much. Some halloumi cheese, which I've just fried in little chunks. Mm -hmm. I made a bigger version at home the other day when I was testing them out, so I do test my own recipes. Mm -hmm. And my son said to me, one of my sons said to me, two chunky pups, just too chunky. Not, it's too, got to be smaller, mate. chunky? The, the I, made, I made the, the cheese too big, I made the chorizo ah, okay. too big, and he said it's too chunky. The other thing he said to me was they need to be short, because what happens with chorizo is you want it to be crispy on the outside, mm. whereas a classic sausage roll, you want it to be soft on the inside and a little bit of crispness on the outside. So there's, there's sort of a little bit of magic in both of them, really. Yes. Really whip it up well, then take your mixture and put it into a piping bag. I use... Block pastry. Mm. I'm not good with ready roll. It sometimes doesn't work. Sometimes it sticks the pastry, the, the the paper. But but that idea now of that taking that whole block of pastry. So you take a 500 gram block of pastry, mm. roll the whole thing out really really well, so it's nice and thick. And I'm going to do both these sausage rolls in the same mm. sheet. So take that your sausage mixture. In a, and if you don't have a pipe bag, you can use a spoon because I'm going to do the same here. Start just in a little bit from the end, so you've got a little bit of way to fold it up. And then you make some sort of... Sausage. A sausage. Yeah, that's it. So, but what you've done, instead of just using sausage meat, as I say, the water and the garlic in there makes a massive difference. Are you going for the other Now, one? that yeah. amount of sausage that, meat... You? Uh, thank you. Hang if on. you look at that sausage meat and Can look I at the size of that sausage yeah. roll, yeah, see how big it becomes? Yes, it's enormous. Because wow. of what happens with the water and the steam. So that's why. So what we do now is we brush the oh, inside... That's amazing. What is this one again? This is the... This is the classic. Classic. Classic, good old fashioned John Turoad sausage roll, been around since about 1995. It's been around for a long, long time, that version. Oh, it's... that is naughty, John. It's you good wouldn't enough. want to change yeah. it when it's as good as that. Yeah. And then take your, your pastry, fold it over. So that's water on there, nothing else. A little bit of water. And don't do it too tight. Just roll it over enough that's there. And then what do you use? It's a pastry Ooh. cutter, which is just a lot easier to use. Cutting it everywhere. That's good. Go hard or go home, Holly. <laughs> That's it. Perfect. <laughs> Try You've got your first one. And then you can either put that in the fridge or you can make another version. Now, this one, the Trito one, because mm -hmm. it's got lumps in it. Well, not lumps. Lumps is a bad word. It's got lovely chunks in it. Yeah. I'm just going to make it with just taking it across the outside a little bit. And then... So you don't put fingers. that one in a piping bag? I'm not using a piping bag because just all the bits will get stuck. OK. And, um, I mean, you can... Look. With a sausage roll, I think the thing is you can do what you like. Just play with it. Maybe you want to put some, some apples in there. Maybe mm. you want to use a different flavoured sausage. It's totally up to you. All I would say is that that little bit of water that you add to it, and this has got a little bit of water in it as well, will make a massive, massive difference. Bit of clonic, bit of clonic hilti black pudding in there, John. That's it. Black yeah. pudding works just as well. It's it. perfect. You, you, would, you said you're putting it on salad. Yeah, I'll bring some next week. I'm a bit good. scared of it, if I'm honest. No, no, oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. Black pudding's yeah. really good. In fact, it's just like a seasoning. I think that's mm. the thing. We're, we do get scared of it. Again, roll this up. Now, uh, so once we've rolled it up, I just press this one a little bit tighter mm. because it's got the cheese in it. And I don't want the cheese to come out. So we've got these two. 
And then I've got some around the back, which I've made already, so I'm just going to take those off there. And now I'm going to cut them. So, these. Here we go. So this is the chorizo mm, ones. You cut it before you cook it. Then you cut it before you cook it. Oh, These you are could cook the whole thing and then hide away in a room and eat the whole thing. By you could yourself. do. By yourself, yeah. Now, the truth, though, one, as I said, we want it to be a bit bigger. So start in the middle and then what we're going to do now is say, OK, we're going to start and go to the middle again mm -hmm. and then cut them and just do them. Now, what I've done with these is put them into the fridge for about half an hour so they go nice and solid. Mm -hmm. And that way they're easier to cut. Onto a tray and then don't put them too close because if you put them too close, they will actually puff into each that? other. What's this here, pickle. John? Pickle. It's a pickle, just like a... A little bit of pickle. Mm -hmm. What's going on? The classic one. Good old pickle. Smaller bits. What's this one? Uh, that's just a tomato relic. Oh, my word. So now so some... Um, I love that you two are feasting. Mm -hmm. This is really good. Mm -hmm. Some egg wash across the top, and then we're going to put some... Um, uh, some nigella oh. seeds. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a dispute about whether nigella seeds are onion seeds or not. They actually say on them... On the, on the packs in some of the supermarkets, they say black onion seeds. Across the top, they just give it a bit of a flavour. What do you think, then? Well, they come from a family which is not related to the onion at all, oh. the Nigella seed, but they do, and people think they taste like an onion. Why don't you just plant it and see what comes up? <clears throat> I don't think they only grow in height. In, in, we could probably give that a go. We'll do that. Well, let's do that. I thought they were called Nigella oh. seeds because of Nigella Lawson. I thought it was like her brand. <laughs> let's go with that. No, we're not that. <laughs> the big sausage rolls, you just do exactly the same, but you cut them in half and then just cut them in half again. Oh, my word. So they're a bit bigger. So you get so four delicious. out of each one out of those. It gets better with, with the tomato. And you cutting. put the now, chutney on, yeah. Every time you cook pastry, I'm just going to tell you a little rule, very, very simple. What you want to do is you want to do 20... Use the 20s. 20 minutes at 200. 20 minutes at 200. 200. And then just drop the temperature down if you're... Or just leave it for a couple more minutes. And then what happens is they should come out and they should look like this. So these are our chorizo ones. Ha, 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 ha. The reason we've made so many is I can see the crew. No. Yeah, I look can at see them. everybody. The gallery's going to be going, can I have some? I have to can say. I have some? They're all vegan, John, every single one of them. <laughs> That's it. They're not interested. And then look at the difference in these. Look, so they're the big pork ones. I mean. I know. These are 4 50 down the local high street. My word. And you can make them at home and it'll cost you about a pound fifty. I've got to say, they're one of the best sausage rolls I've ever yeah. been. I, maybe the best. I think yeah. it might be. I yeah. said maybe because my mum makes a good sausage roll <laughs> on Christmas Eve. Yeah. But these are really good. Brilliant. Well done. Thanks, Thanks John. Guys. Delicious. Really so, good. So nice. Um, for details of today's recipe, and you want this recipe, trust me, they're that good. And of course, more delicious ideas from all our chefs. Download the free this morning. Right, still to come.